Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my little desktop aquarium. So for anyone that doesn't know, this is a 2.6 gallon fluval. It's not exactly everyone's favorite tank just because of the filtration system and a lot of people don't like to use this tank for a beta because the pump's really strong and blows them around, but I've modified my pump and now it doesn't blow quite as strong. Well, it doesn't blow close to as strong as it was before. So if you guys wanna know how to do that, just leave a comment below and I can make a quick little video on that. It'll only take a minute, but anyhow. So this is my little beta. I've had him for about eight months now, around there. And I finally got him into a tank that he's gonna stay in. So this is gonna be his tank till eventually he passes away. And I'm sure I'll get him some little friends for in there, but in the meantime, it's just him. So I just planted this aquarium yesterday, making this video right after I made the one of my five gallon. And as you can see, I got him some plants. So right up front, we have two Marimo moss balls. I've never kept them before, like apparently they're super easy and they filter your water for you and act as a normal plant. And I really like the look of them, so I figured they'd be great for a little beta tank. And then planted on the left there and the middle, I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys, I have some hornwort. So I took a clipping off some hornwort, planted it in the front and then planted that hornwort in the back also under that little piece of rock. So we'll see how that goes. The water in this aquarium is kind of hard. My bait is completely used to it, but it is a little hard. So I'm not sure how great the hornwort's gonna do, but I'm hoping it'll do good as I don't really have any ways of lowering the pH right now. So, um, that's about it. I have some duckweed in this aquarium also, so I'll show you that. It's already been getting into the filter, but that's okay, it's just on top. Here's the duckweed. So, I didn't put very much in here to start, and it seems like it's been growing already. And then, this is the filtration system on here. Um, the main reason I wanted to get duckweed for this tank is I've had a lot of problems with detritus building up ever since I first started using this tank without even having a bait in it. I've been using this tank for probably eight months now. And ever since I got it, this light, I don't know if it's the light or what, but I get a ton of detritus. You can see some on the glass if you look around there. So I figured the duckweed would help dim the light down a little bit. And that way I wouldn't have to deal with quite so much algae. And then once I can get my pH down and a little bit better water parameters, I could either get some amano shrimp or some other sort of species to start eating the algae and gunk out of this tank. But yeah, so this is my little beta tank. There's not a whole lot to it. It's just a nice little simple tank with a little beta. And that's about it. You guys can get a little close up view of them, but He's kind of hiding. There's a little filter vent at the back there that pulls the water in, I think. So I think he likes to sit there just because the water's so slow and doesn't move at all. So it's a nice little spot to relax. But yeah, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more videos on this kind of stuff, then make sure to subscribe because I've got lots to show you guys. <laughs> thanks for watching.